The theme of MIX this year is fueling interactive advertising's creative revolution. What does creativity mean to you? Well, you know, creativity as it applies to, to interactive and what technology uh, has, has sort of done um, to, our, to our industry, uh, really to me says that, that, that the, the, the more things change, the more they're the same in some instances. And that in advertising, uh, uh, we've always worked in a business of culture. That's what we do. Um, probably one of the biggest changes uh, uh, to culture has been technology and how it's changed the way that we process information and think about things. So I think, you know, uh, Interactive's creative revolution to me is just about um, recognizing the fact that people have been rewired, um, things have changed, the way we take in information has changed, and uh, we have to sort of move forward with that and, uh, and instead uh, stop doing the, you know, the old things in new places, but try and look at what people are really looking for. Uh, and, uh, and that's where the, the, the real creativity comes in, um, not about uh, giving your campaigns over to consumers or, or you know, just managing to have enough tweets compiled that it looks like people care, but still creating something for people to gather around. Everyone is saying how the roles of marketers, agencies, and media companies have changed and even merged in recent years. How has this trend in the interactive ecosystem impacted how you do your job? Oh, you know this 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 mashup of of content, data, publishing, entertainment, advertising has is, has has broadened all of our jobs. Um, we have a job of curation more than we ever used to, uh, but we can't um, uh, let go of our responsibility to also be the topic. Right. Uh, I think that what it's really done is it's changed the way that. Uh, agencies are constructed, or at least it should, um, uh, it takes a, a village, you know, it's, it's, uh, it takes a lot of people uh, to feed in and manage all of these assets and a lot of really distinct skill sets. And I think the, the, uh, the chasm has been that uh, they don't always sit nicely in a hierarchical, you know, uh, order uh, of, uh, of command, a chain of command. It's far more chaotic, more open source like the whole rest of the world. Can you tell us what you think is most important about Mix and the IAB to the interactive industry? Oh, you know, I think Mix is so important right now to the interactive industry because we've got two things going on. Um, because the interactive industry is so young, everything uh, seems to be sort of uh, in the role of experiment. So, you know, we take something, we create a format, we throw it over our shoulders, and that idea can't live the next time. Oh, we've done that. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. And we come out of uh, success in an industry like a 60-second or a double-page spread that says, here's our medium. We'll do it over and over and over and over again till we hone that craft, and it will be excellent. And I'm, I, I think what the IAB can bring is some sort of calming to the madness of what is a format, what isn't, what works, where should we be focusing, what are all the things that we have to take into consideration, what are our building blocks, so that we can then start to hone the craft of getting better and better at uh, uh, putting ideas across those platforms, as opposed to just creating a different stunt every week. I think it's time the industry you know, started doing its job again. What's the single most compelling trend in interactive media? You know, I think the single most compelling trend in interactive media would have to be social media. And that doesn't mean that I fully advocate doing nothing but, you know, uh, uh, data points and, and, and letting the public completely take over your messaging. Uh, I do believe in a lot of co-creation, but what social media has done is uh, it's just so dramatically shaken the box. Uh, it changes every discussion everybody has in every agency right now. Um, I think that uh, thanks to the iPhone that, that uh, mobile is going to be the next one because you compare or, or, or you compile connectivity, social networking, open source, crowdsource with constantly on, constantly everywhere, aware of where you are, what's going on. And those two things come together to create a cacophony that, that, that you know, we're going to need bigger and better and deeper ideas and experiences just to to, to live up to the weight of what this, this messaging, this platform can do for us. What do you think today's consumer wants? And I know it's a tough question. What I think the consumer wants is good products. 
I think the consumer wants uh, a meaningful engagement with uh, uh, the, the things that, that are around them. I think that um, the consumer wants to be considered. Uh, I don't think that the consumer wants to wake up every day and decide what everything does and, 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 and uh, uh, how it works. I think, I think they just want to be more included. And I think they want to be entertained. I think they want functionality. I think they want value. I think they want utility. Uh, I think they want uh, space to tell their own stories. How do you prioritize and focus on what's important when there is so much vying for your attention? Uh, you know, focusing on what's important right now is uh, has got to be a case-by-case -case basis if you're looking at a brand. Um, you know, what you do and what you don't do, and then what you don't do is as important as what you do do, uh, particularly in this new medium, uh, what suits the brand. As a consumer, what's important to me is that, uh, you know, I just don't want my time wasted. And... Um, I don't really like being unimpressed. Uh, as, as an agency leader, um, there are two things that struggle all the time. And one is uh, just getting everybody ready uh, to professionally meet the basic challenges of a new medium. And the other one is to uh, strive to uh, uh, stick out and to get ahead and to possibly sometimes throw all that out the window and say, um, this is what we really care about. Uh, let's just be really good at this and, uh, and uh, create uh, good and productive, happy, creative environments where that can happen. Why is creativity and interactive advertising so important? Uh, creativity is so important in interactive advertising because there is a real blending uh, 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 of what the tool can do. The internet did not come to exist in aid of advertising. Technology is not here because we needed yet another platform to spread our messages on. Um, it's a piece of social hardware. It's a piece of communal change and uh, communications platform device. Uh, we have to fight for our place inside that more than we fought for our place on television or in magazines. Um, and uh, I think that the only way to do that is to, to offer something to consumers that, that they can't do for themselves.